الحقيقه هنا طبعا زي ما انتم شايفين الحقيقه هنا كلها فلاحين وصيادين دي طبيعه الناس هنا النايل دلتا از وان اوف ذا موست فالنربل هوت سبوتس ان ذا وورلد اند دلتا ريجن اكاونتس فور مور ذان 50% اوف ذا ايكونوميك اكتيفيتيز ان ذا كانتري ذا بيجست ريسك ات ذا مومنت از فلودنج فروم ذا سي In addition to the usual sea storms, with climate change, the water level is rising in the Mediterranean, so flooding will increase with time. There was an unprecedented event in 2010. This event flooded most of the Nile Delta. This was like an alarm. to the government here to think about what's going on and how we can minimize the damages of such events. That's how we started looking at techniques to protect these areas and now we are upscaling them within the GCF project. A couple of things make this, this project unique. The first thing is the nature-based solutions that we are using. In 2010, after this unprecedented event, we visited the area and we spoke Uh, to the local people and we said look I mean you've been flooded annually and this this flood was uh, quite big so what what do you usually do to uh, protect your property and they came with a very simple solution this solution of just, just having like uh, the reeds uh, uh, built as as rows and uh, using the natural processes the way the, the sand that's blown by the wind it accumulates this sand so it builds like a, a, a small dune around their lands and uh, their properties also They are like living structures. They don't stop when you stop. No, they grow with time uh, using nature processes. So uh, they seem like the perfect solution uh, for our case here in Egypt. We took this simple solution and we looked at how you can uh, design it in, in, engin in an engineering way. And uh, we took it, uh, improved it, and this is what we are using. There are elements which are truly extraordinary in this project. The first thing is that we are speaking about ecosystem-based approaches. Rather than a concrete dam, we have basically used the power of nature to protect populations and natural resources. So it's much more cost-effective. But in addition, it's something that is living. An evolutive organic solution which is built on the knowledge of a local population So uh, we have five vulnerable hotspots uh, covering 69 kilometers of the Nile Delta and we are protecting them now with those nature-based solutions. I'd like to mention also something you know, about the impact of this project. Farmers now are able to grow different crops. In the past, they were not because the flooding of the seawater or the sea salt intrusion, farmers now are very happy and they grow different crops. Uh, I mean, when this area used to flood every year, this will stop the fishermen from going to the sea. So uh, the area now is safe for them. They have access to the sea so they can go whenever they want. Um, it also protects an, a very important uh, road, the international coastal road. It connects a number of cities, a number of ports along the north coast of Egypt. If this road fails, this will flood quite a few villages. <laughs> الحمد لله ربنا اختارها يعني وكده ما فيش حاجه حصلت. One of the aims of the project is to promote this way of thinking and designing future solutions that we involve the local people, we involve our engineers and researchers, so we combine the local knowledge with the expertise for other problems as well. How many engineers in the world have the modesty and the empathy to be able to start by asking the local population, how will you do it? I I'm full of admiration. <laughs> <laughs>